Day 26. Wholehearted Yes. Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as obeying in the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice. For rebellion is like the sin of divination, and arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as a king. 1 Samuel 15, 23 God wants our willing and wholehearted yes. When God asks something of us, our answer should not be yes, but God made the ultimate sacrifice by sending his willing and obedient son. In Jesus, we find the perfect example of obedience. Today's passage shows King Saul giving us a yes, but answer, and it didn't end well for him. Anointed with a message from the Lord, Samuel commanded Saul to destroy the Amalekites. Not even animals were to be spared. But when Saul and his army set out on their mission, they kept the animals, intending to sacrifice them as an offering to the Lord. Saul's sacrifice, lacking in obedience, was of no value to God. Because of his rebellion, God rejected him as king. His yes but answer backfired. Even in difficult moments, let's completely surrender to the Lord. When God sent Jesus to die, Jesus did not say, Yes, I will make disciples, but I will not die on the cross. He said, Yes, Father. This was not an easy yes, but because of his answer, we too are able to say yes to God. Father, thank you for your yes. Make every step I take a step of obedience.